And it's brand new. I mean, it's a really cool guy. How much are cards? Um, what did I say? Like, um, four for a buck. I mean, what if I just, without even going through, what if I, what if I just take the whole thing? All right, it's a beautiful Saturday morning. Gonna go hit the garage sales. Engine is running beautifully, you can see. Now the object is to fill this bus up with riches. Lots of great stuff. So, as you can see, we've got it partly filled up already. We got my daughter in here. This is Aubrey, everybody. <laughs> Hi, Aubrey. And then, up oh, seatbelt. Thank you. And this is very empty in here. We need to fill this up. Let's get going, see what we can find. Soon, there's gonna be treasure in here. Is that Pokemon? What is this? Yeah, but it's um, it's like a mashup between Dragon Ball Z and Pokemon. What does that mean? Is it is it a thing? Oh, it's a different thing. It's not. They're never actually mashed up. Oh. Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's see how much that is. That's perfect for you. Zelda's generally a triangle shape. Those ones are a dollar. Dollar. No, that one. And how much are toys over here? Uh, all different. Uh, the ones that are already opened are four. Um, some of the smaller ones are five. Um, the bigger ones, ten. Uh, Fifteen. Ten. Okay. You got a bunch of stuff. All right, so you've got. How much? This one's two, so it's marked. Do you know this game? Yeah, Kingdom Hearts. Um, it's it's basically like a mashup of, of like random Disney things, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. um, All right, I'll get it. There's a following for it. I get it. People like it. Aiden loves it. Okay. All right. You don't have any toy cars or anything like that. Old toy, old old toys no. before your time. Yeah, before my time. It would have been yeah. something you would have been passed down to or something. How many, what do you got there? Three shirts. And this, so are you five bucks? Sure. Three, four, five bucks. Sure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you, you too. Alright, I don't think there's much stuff there, but we're going to jump out and see. Hi. Stop. Hello. Hi. Hi there. Oh.
What do you do? And the longest ten and the coffee is fifteen. Just had all these special the features. And they're they both have five. No, just this one. Oh, just the Mr. Coffee has the box. Do you know this brand, Navi? Red Engine? No. If you're a pirate enthusiast, I certainly have enough pirates. I can tell that you are definitely a pirate enthusiast. And that's like barely even scratching yeah. the surface, but I have to start getting rid of some. Okay. It's okay, guy. Stop it. Harley, stop it. Okay, okay. Just stop. Just stop. Okay, gotta go. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye. Those are chess pieces. Yeah. I'm a chess player. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, good. I have lots of chess sets. Do you? I'm a chess set collector. Really? I was. I'm trying to get rid of them. This, this, I was going to set this one up. This is well, do you have, um, what about, do you have any boards that are the tr more traditional pieces? I kept those because I play. Yeah. And these pieces you really can't tell what they are. They're more for show. I know that's what's hard to play and with I these. Can't really play, but the ones that the other ones I'm kind of keeping. Like I have a huge chest set over there, but I'm going to keep that. And and I have one or two that I've used to play with. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I appreciate that. That's how I am. Well, she's not going to keep it. She's like, perfect, yeah. And it's brand new. I mean, it's really cute. Cool. How much are cards? Um, what if I say, like, um, four for a buck? I mean, what if I just, without even going through, what if I, what if I just take the whole thing? I don't know. Do so all alone. I'm making off. I mean, I have no idea if there's something good in there. Could yeah. My ex-husband died three years ago, and he used to collect them, and I got rid of most of them, but this was his special box, so I wasn't going to sell them. But I don't know what's in there, so make me an offer. That's fine. Should I let her inside with Chloe? She's going to destroy the house. Oh, okay. Leave, leave her out for a few more minutes till Jessica's ready to... I can't believe she brought that girl. I'll leave the box. Was the whole box worth 15? I don't know. You know what? I mean, I just... I'll do 15. I'll, I would do 15. Okay, I'll do 15. Sure. Let's do that. All right. And if you find something in there worth thousands, more power to you. Yeah, I doubt it, but, you I know. I doubt it, but you never know. It's yeah. Okay. Do you have any more? Do you have any other collectible type stuff? Yeah, of that kind of stuff. Not really. I think I think that's it. The stuff I, well, that, like I said, my 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 uh, late husband, but yeah, the stuff I collect is like this stuff and pirate stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, thank you. What is this little thing? It's just a little. It's just sewing stuff. It's yeah. like a cute little, you know. It's got like drawers. Oh yeah. I got it at a store, you know. Oh, that's cute. I just have to, you know, sell everything I bought. There we go. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck today. Oh, I think there's treasures. Oh, look at this. Let's see. expert but all I see in that box are, are all the big names so, she so mm, we'll see hear the phone rang it's just some friends of mine saying hey man
A dollar. That's fine. We move it down there. A dollar red. What? A dollar red. Two dollars a record. Thank you very much. Pointed at you. I just just restored a seventy-two bug. Just sold it. To oh, me. you did. These are all the extra parts. Oh, really? You got any bug? And mind you, here's a loom. And you, look, you know what you're looking at because that. And I have more bug stuff in here. Whatever you don't take or want, I'm just gonna toss because you can have everything for twenty bucks or something. Look at because look. I'd rather, I, I'd rather it go to the bug club than that dumpster, but it's it's one or the other. So take it, give it to your boys, your people, and say, hey, you know, the guy was generous enough to give it to me because look, these are brand new. I just never used it before. Yeah. The bug, you know, I love bugs. It was so much fun. Why don't you just take it? That's my thing. Seriously? Yep. All right. They, uh, they, will, appre they will appreciate I it. I know they will. Globe. Welcome. Hello, how are you? Good morning, good, and you guys? Doing very good. How much is this shirt? One dollar. One dollar? How much is the air fryer? One. It's not an air fryer. Okay, I'm gonna get this shirt. I'm gonna get this shirt and then we are gone. Here you go. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Project car. Yeah. Project garage. But I want, we sold a 67 bug. Oh, yeah? I would love to bug. You don't know John Krulak. He's got, a, he's got an old Willie's. Uh, Who does? John Krulak. He's down the street a little ways. But oh, really? He turned it in. And so, so the army changed it over because he was in the Air Force. So he painted oh. Air, Air Force team. Oh, he did? Oh, that's cool. Very nicely done, though. Yeah, we're going to try to keep it all original for sure. I mean, it's original. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yep. How much are the lanterns? Uh, you got three. Two of them, right? You there's got three stuff. There. Yeah, there's one in here and one in there. One. I don't know. How about uh, if you want both of them, forty bucks? Oh, that's a lot. Is that a lot? How yeah. About thirty bucks. So fifteen each. What if I just got one? Um, we'll do fifteen on it. They work. They do work. Yep, they do. I just have. I don't need them with the motor. Yeah. And I like my in-laws passed away and they had. Camping stuff. I'm like, I don't need camping stuff. I don't camp. I have a motorhome. 
much for the uh, two water things? Oh, I don't know. How about eight bucks for both? All right, let's see. This is the filter. With the funnel, I'll do this 15 with the front with this little funnel. All right, sold. Now I got a lantern, pretty happy. All right, I'm gonna get this. I'll get this and this. Thank you very much, appreciate it. You're welcome, enjoy. Good luck with your sale. Thank you, have a good weekend. Thank you, you too. Hey everyone, thanks for sticking around for the review. I've got some very calming, soothing music going on in the background here. It's, uh, it's, it's, maybe you can hear this. It's very relaxing because what happened to me today uh, is probably the best single item pick that I have ever found. Um, and it's extremely exciting and I can hardly wait to show you I will get to that. I'm going to save it towards the end. Don't fast forward because you might miss some other good stuff. So just hang with me. We're going to get there. We're going to get there fast. And it's going to be really, really cool. So anyway, I um, had my daughter with me today, which was great. Thank you, Aubrey, for uh, coming and hanging out with me. Uh, funny thing about that, just a really quick story, is before we left, my daughter loves Star Wars. Uh, and and uh, one of the things that she wanted to find today was Star Wars shirts. The very first garage sale that we went to, bam, garage sale, Star Wars Central. Um, anyway, you saw it. She picked up some, I think, three shirts. Uh, it was exactly what she wanted. So good for her. Yay, Aubrey. Um, glad you did that. Now, moving on. Let's just, I'm not gonna, none of these things are gonna be in order of what we found. Uh, there's not a huge amount, but that one, but that one garage sale, this is amazing. We're gonna get there, don't go away. Here we go, starting with, let's just start with this shirt right here. Uh, pick this shirt, I think we paid a dollar for this. It's a little, it's a little kid's shirt. It's a, it's a Tony Stewart shirt. And I noticed um, that it had a signature up here and I wasn't sure if right there I wasn't sure if that was part of the graphic of the shirt or not but when you turn this inside out you can see the sharpie pen has gone through so what we have here is a signed Tony Stewart kids shirt uh, with the chase the chase tag which is uh, part of his thing anyway cool shirt uh, paid a buck uh, I think that this is probably worth 30 bucks $30 t-shirt gotta love it I'm gonna put that right over here. Too bad it doesn't fit me, but it doesn't. Um, next item, we all we picked up this. Was really cool. I am I am not a video game expert. I don't know that much about video games. Uh, just enough to be a little bit dangerous. But I happened to pick this one up, and it was two dollars. This is the uh, it's it's uh, Kingdom Hearts, and it's a DS. So not only is it a DS, but this thing is still in the saran wrap. It is brand spanking new, never been used. That makes this a $50 to $59 game right here. So I was pretty lucky that I picked this one. But uh, anyway, that $2 right here just turned into, uh, let's say, 50 bucks on the low side. Great game, great profit. We love it. Um, uh, next. So, so we went to this sale. Oh, also picked up this. I thought this was really cool. Uh, it's no big deal. It's 50 cents and I'm going to uh, wash this thing up and I'm gonna wear it just because it's a cool hat and uh, I really like it. Val Surf was one of the surf shops uh, near me growing up um, in Woodland Hills in the Valley. And uh, so anyway, that's why I got it. It'll be fun to have. I'm glad, I'm happy I found it. Um, next, next is this, this is a Coleman Lantern. As you can see, it's right here, right in front of us. Uh, this is one of the things that comes with it, is this uh, cool funnel. Uh, but this lantern is neat in a lot of different ways. Uh, we paid, we paid uh, 
fifteen dollars for this lantern, and it's it's barely barely used. Um, it's a two twenty eight F is the uh, code on it. It's a nineteen seventy two. You can always tell the um, the dates of these Coleman lanterns. Well, a couple of things. First off, on the sides here, this is the model two twenty eight F, and they're always stamped right here, uh, so you can always tell what they are. This one, uh, the date on it. You can look on the bottom and they're always stamped on the bottom. So this one is stamped along with some other words uh, is stamped 1072. So that tells you the month that it was created in and the year 1972. Uh, this is a cool lantern in a lot of different ways. It's the gas powered and it also has the amber lens, which is kind of neat. Uh, the amber lens doesn't attract bugs uh, when it's lit up. So that makes this a little bit more special than some of the other ones. Uh, this lantern that we paid $15 for is going to sell on eBay for uh, roughly 130 bucks. I might get lucky and maybe get 140, 145, but uh, it comes with this really cool case. These cases are hard to find. This and especially in the gold color, um, they're not easy to find, and they're they protect your lantern. And I, this one came with it, so I was happy about that. It also has a bunch of uh, other miscellaneous stuff. Uh, things like that so uh, anyway that's this good profit good profit we love these lanterns I, I buy these lanterns whenever I whenever I get the chance to buy a cool lantern uh, and I'm gonna put this off the side here I am going to do that let's put this back here I am almost to the really good stuff. I'm saving, I, I'm gonna save the good stuff, the best thing for absolute last, which is coming up literally in about a minute and a half because I'm gonna go through this one thing. Met a guy at a garage sale, he saw my he saw me pull up in the VW bus, uh, kind of flagged me down and, was, and, and gave me all these VW parts. Uh, there's a bin down here. I'm not gonna shut the camera down there, but there's all kinds of parts. There's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a whole bin full of new parts, used parts, and I'm gonna donate those to my VW club. I got a lot of people that uh, would love to have these things, and so they are gonna go to the right people who can put them on their VWs, their vintage VWs, and get those things going. Now, we're gonna move on to my best pick ever. I believe it's my best pick ever, up to date, my best single item that I've ever found, I paid probably about a, a buck for it. It was hard to determine if it was a buck or 50 cents. That item sold for about 2,250 bucks. This one's better. This one's better. Um, I could tell you about these records first. I know, you thought I was gonna get right into it. But I saw these at the garage sale. I mean, John Travolta staying alive. Earth, Wind, and Fire. I had to buy these, so they're mine now. I have them. I'm not selling them. Uh, I'm gonna play these on uh, on the record player. Put them right over here for now. Now we're there. A little bit, a little more soothing music, please. All right. All right. I'm calm. Here we go. Part about this one, this story is, as I pulled up to this garage sale, there's a lot of garage sales that I don't get out at. And I pull up to them and I say, that's not my kind of garage sale uh, because I'm trying to save my time and put my time into where it's most best spent. Um, I just drive past it. This particular sale, I drove past it. I drove up to it, I mean. And I said, uh, it doesn't look like there's much here. And I've never been so wrong. I've never been so wrong. Um, so the lady was a super nice lady. Um, she let, she was into pirate stuff a lot and she collected chess boards, which I, as you know, love chess. I collect chess pieces and boards and sell chess pieces and boards. She uh, did the same. And so we got in a conversation and as I was sitting there talking with her, I looked down and I saw a box I love this thing. I love this. I saw this box of, of cards. I'm gonna tilt it forward a little bit. 
there was this, this this box right here this da vinci box and in this box we just have lots of sports cards there's a few random other cards uh, there's an elvis presley card in here uh it's just a stray thing the lady had explained in the video that these that these cards belong to her deceased husband uh as of three years ago and these were his uh these were his cards that he saved in this box so his special cards and and that they that they are as i as i glanced down at this box uh, everything that i looked at in here it was just the it was the box of 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 big names uh you know you've got brett Favre. Brett Favre, Brett Favre, these are all Brett Favre. You've got jerseys in here. This one's a Joe Namath jersey. And in here, you can't tell, but that's a piece of Joe Namath's jersey on these, on these sports cards. The list just goes on and on. I could keep reading all of these off to you. Dan Marino, and these, these date back to good years. Most of these are not super valuable, but they're three bucks, four bucks, five bucks. And the list, and the list, like I say, just goes on and on. Um, I don't know. They're, the list goes on and on. I'm not going to read them all off to you. In this box, though, in this box, these are Michael Jordan cards. All of these are Michael Jordan cards. Again, I think we've all heard of Michael Jordan. There's some super nice cards in here, and uh, they're all protected. They're all in pristine condition. None of these cards are graded. But um, here's the rookie card. Here's Michael Jordan's baseball rookie card. None of these are graded yet, which is, makes a big difference for value of cards. Some of these I will get graded. This is where the, ma this is where the magic happens, right here. So, and again, I am not a sports card expert. I'm not even, I'm not even close to an expert. Um, I know very little about value of cards but I know big names. And so uh, in this, these are all, nope, not this one. This is a Barry Bonds. You might recognize him, Barry Bonds. This is also a nice card. This is gonna be valuable as soon as it gets graded. Um, so he got mixed in there. All these cards here are Kobe Bryant. Um, and you, as you know, he was a great ambassador. He was great for, great for the sport. Kobe Bryant was a gentleman. He was he was everything that the, every sport needs, and because of that, the value of cards and collectibles from Kobe Bryant are have, have skyrocketed. Um, and um, and and in this anyway, in this bunch of cards, as you go through, a lot of these cards aren't worth a lot of money um, at all. You know, but some of them are worth. Um, a, a fair amount of money and and one of them one of these cards right here I hope the camera can pick that up this card right here um, is an amazing card here's the back of it that's the Kobe Bryant rookie card here and so this is the uh, this is the tops this is the tops uh, one number 138 card and this card is well protected. It's, there's nothing about this card that I can see. I don't know how to grade cards. I've never had a card graded in my life. Um, but this card, this card's gonna get graded uh, because I think it's gonna grade in mint condition. Uh, and, I, and I'm looking at, at comps on this. This is going to go for, on the Uh, this is a magical card. I am so happy that we stopped at that garage sale. Um, and I'm happy that I took a chance on those cards, which wasn't much of a risk after I saw the names. Um, you know, I paid $15 for the entire box of cards here. Um, so uh, it's just a great find. So, so my best find ever. And so I'm gonna send this off to get graded. I'll, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna learn a lot about cards as I do that, go through that process, because I picked up some other cards recently that I need to get graded also, probably do it at the same time. But uh, again, 
this this is when we go when we go out and we go treasure hunting at these yard sales and garage sales and estate sales this is what we're looking for right here this is this is what makes it so much fun for all of us and um, and it, it just it just is I'm in my bus right now by the way I'm sweating it is so hot in here it's very hot in this bus and um, but anyway I don't, I don't know I got you've seen this machine before and I'm not even sure which button to push because this one does it doesn't it doesn't do it doesn't do enough um, to express that particular pick um, anyway thank you all for watching um, and I appreciate all of you who are followers if you're not a follower please subscribe to this channel um, it lets it lets the algorithm know that you appreciate the videos that I'm putting out it lets me know that I'm on the right track um, and I love to see my subscriber numbers go up so I'm hoping that you will subscribe um, I'm hoping that you will continue to watch my videos if you haven't seen my past videos please go back and watch some of them I am finding great stuff all the time and of course not this great but I'm finding a lot of great stuff and uh, I, I appreciate all of you watching thank you very much for watching and joining me in this epic pick uh, the best of my picking career so far anyway to all of you I will see you on the next video again thanks for watching peace out